quite the adventure that I just went on. I'm about to jump in the car and drive three hours to go each way to go pick them up. Here we go. Are you ready to go get some chickens? <laughs> I found somebody that's giving away nine hens and I'm about to jump in the car and drive three hours to go each way to go pick them up. Um, our friends and neighbors lent us a huge cage. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little dark in here. It just fit in the back of my Jeep. It's a big, um, just an animal cage. Uh, we put a tarp on the bottom so my Jeep won't get covered in poop. And then I'm gonna put a um, sheet over top once I get the chickens in. It's got a little door right here that opens. Uh, so Clyde and I are gonna go on a road trip this morning. We're gonna be driving past Creston into a town called Salmo. And um, this lady has nine hens that she needs to rehome because unfortunately she doesn't have um, the setup that we do to keep predators away. It, it sounds like a good situation. They're free. There's nine of them, uh, which is a good enough number for me to drive that far, I suppose. And um, we've got the setup with the new coop, um, the separated area. James is going to put in a hatch on the one side, so we're going to have totally separate little flocks until everybody gets used to each other. So I did put an ad on uh, Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji for giving away my roosters uh, with pictures and you know told them how they're treated and how old they are and uh, that I would like them to go to a good home. I even offered to deliver the roosters to a farm if they um, you know if it's within reason. Anyway I'm gonna go get Clyde and my snacks and water and jump in the car and I'm gonna try I'm gonna be driving by myself so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can uh, on the way there but I'll definitely try to set up a camera in here so that we can capture getting the chickens into this cage which I think is gonna be the lady said that they're hard to catch so we'll see how that goes and hopefully I can show you guys too so we're about three quarters of the way there I just pulled over in a town called Creston. This is about two hours from where we live and it's a completely different ecosystem. It's so, I find it so fascinating. They grow um, orchards here, like they, uh, peaches, apples, pears, plums, blueberries, cherries, some of the best fruit in all of Canada, as far as I'm concerned, come from this area. And I don't spend a lot of time out here in the winter when it's the off season. And as you're driving down the main highway, there's, um, you can see the orchards on either side and I've never seen them, um, barren, like not in full bloom. So I just wanted to pop out of the car here and show you, um, just one of them. This one looks like it's a, a cherry orchard. So, um, I just want to show you what it looks like when it's the off season. I don't know. I find it very fascinating. So these are cherry trees. Just miles and miles of them. It's almost a little bit eerie in a way. It's an electric fence. It's just They just go on for miles and miles. Wow. It's just on either side of the, oh, I'm in a ditch here. Either side of the main highway here. Ooh, I'll see over here. Yeah, this one is a cherry orchard. Oh, you can hear roosters. Very cool. Look at the clouds in those mountains. 
It's just absolutely stunning around here. Hey, buddy. Clyde, are you ready to go get some chickens? elevations up here. Um, I remember one time I drove this in my hippie van back in my hippie days and my brakes were burning going down the, um, the elevation down the big hill. So you go up a big hill and then you go down a big hill and I just passed a sign that said um, you know sudden weather changes, compact snow, slippery sections. So I'm not going to lie, I am a, not a good winter driver. I don't even like driving in heavy rain anymore. So fingers crossed, we've got relatively smooth sailing through here. It's definitely the sketchiest part of the drive, also the most beautiful part of the drive. Um, keep the camera going for as long as it'll go on the dash and take you guys along with we are about, I think it said 80 kilometers from Sabo, uh, which is typically about 40 to 45 minutes if you're doing around 100 kilometers an hour. Sorry, I don't have the conversions to metric, but I could probably pop it up on the screen. Um, yeah, I'm doing anywhere from 60 to 100 over here. There's definitely more snow up here. I can already feel my ears are popping because we are just climbing steadily. And the higher we go, the colder it's going to get. So right now my Jeep says it's two degrees Celsius. So we'll see what uh, kind of temperature changes and weather conditions we hit along the way here. What a difference five minutes of driving makes up the
you ladies ready to go for a ride? Look at the rooms there. They're just like, no. Roosters. <laughs> they're like, um, okay, so now what? <laughs> Bye, Roos. Trust me, if I could take you, I would. Mm, gorgeous boys. It's okay. I have such a soft spot for roosters. Okay, we got the chickens loaded. The ladies. They're being very calm. I'm so impressed. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine ladies. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm so happy. What do you think, Clyde? What do you think of the chickens? Are we going to drive home with chickens? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ladies are trying to get their driving feet on. A little spooked. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, see Thank ya. Thank you. See ya. Bye. So, we will. yeah. So the way here is scarier. Is that what you're saying? Than the way back. The way, well, the way from the summit to here, Salmo, you is... drop, you drop down, and it's steep the whole way down. Mm -hmm. But it's only a short period of time. When you come back, you're going up steep for like 15 minutes, and it feels like you go down for like. Yeah, this way it's, it forever. is. It's steeper this it's way. Like a long time. Great! <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. It's warmer on this side though, so there's much less ice. This yeah. It's much warmer. Yeah. And, and there was it was there was hardly there. any going up like what, go, right now going back up is going to be easier than going up on the other side because it was warmer by yeah, like two that's degrees. What we find. Yeah. And uh, when it says eight percent grade, yeah, that means that it drops eight feet in elevation for every hundred feet you go. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. And you hit this button. <laughs> <laughs> hit that but that down thing. Yeah. Okay. Go down. Okay. And I had it in snow and then, too. And then the transmission and the engine will hold you back. Yeah, okay. You don't have to use good, the brakes as good much. Good call. Yeah, yeah. You okay. Use the brakes for when you need them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I full on had my flashers and was doing 40 and I had no problem. I was just okay, like, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. The, the that's, good? What, that's what the semis do. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah you just get behind one of those and it's you're like, set. Whatever. Yeah. There was, I was really happy because there was literally no traffic. So oh, that yeah, made me happy. Oh, yeah. Okay, folks, thank you. Oh, yeah, Take thank care. You. Ladies are good. Nice. <laughs> Here we go. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Wow. It's okay, Bob. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay. Smile. Well, that was quite the adventure that I just went on. Um, everybody made it home safe and sound. Uh, the, the hens are in the back of the Jeep, and we're going to unload them. Uh... James spent the day getting the side of the coop ready. Um, so we've got the barrier up. And then I think he said that he even um, carved out a hatch for them and shoveled this run that they're going to have, which is going to be awesome. Carved it. He carved it out. <laughs> and most importantly, the roosters, which we still have seven, 
six are in that coop. Um, I hope we're going to be happy after a few days of integration between chicken fencing. Uh, so they'll be able to see each other, smell each other, hear each other, but not touch each other for at least a couple of days. Um, and then when I feel like it's ready to let them rip, then we will. And they can just co-mingle. And from there, we're going to basically see how the roosters do, who fights, who doesn't. And then hopefully I'll get some bites on that Facebook ad and we can rehome some of them. Because we obviously can't keep all of them. But getting these hens is like a really big step in the right direction of where we want to go. And um, I really feel like I manifested this very quickly. And I'm super grateful. So Bev, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, I hope you'll continue to watch the process, the progress of, of your hens. And, uh, I can't wait to show you these guys are gorgeous. Welcome to your new home. Hey ladies, James just has some finishing touches. They're hungry. I know. We got seven eggs today. I can't even show them all to you because my hands aren't big enough. I can't believe you did that. Look what? Yeah, I know. Babe, it smells really bad and they're, they're hungry. They're starting to like smell it. Five minutes. Five more minutes, ladies. Five more minutes. It's so good. <laughs> okay. I hope you're smart like these other ones we got. This one's name is Peaches. Ah, She's an Orlington. That's a good name. I know. She's a purebred Orlington. She looks like she's got good feet. She looks healthy. She looks very healthy. Do you want to carry her? Girl. You know all their names. Um. This one. No. That one is cool. Yeah, that one is going to be named Amber. But there's actually two of them that look like that. Okay, Peaches, okay. we gotta go. I think you should... It's okay, Peaches. Okay, um, I think you should bring Peaches in, and then we should do the gate and grabbing thing together, so that if something happens, I can... There's another one of us here to grab it. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm just gonna put her on the ground, because... Or should I put her on the roost? Put her yeah. on the ground, yeah. Action. <laughs> I got a chick and her name is Peaches. There you, go. Oh, you ever said it? They're used to you they're used to roosters, babe. I think. You be nice, Rusty. Okay, I'll be back soon. Yeah. 
wings smacked you. Okay, what do we got here? We got a black one. I can't remember what kind she said. Oh. Oh, yeah. Orlington? No, I already said that. I'm just making it up now. This one is like... Yeah, she's beauty, hey? Wow. Yeah. Cool. She's a really nice. I like your color. And one. you know, it's interesting because they're the breeds we've heard of before that are like built for Winter? Canadian winters. We ha they have really small fur combs mm. so that um, they don't get frostbite. Helps them to not be yeah get frostbite, and uh, really thick. Like these girls are beefy. They're like fluorescent. I know this one. This one's gorgeous. Uh, Winona? <laughs> Winona Ryder. I'm pretty sure this is Winona. Because she looks like a Winona. If you look at her face, yeah. I'm pretty she sure this, like this is Winona. Literally like a tiger. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Yeah, this one's beautiful. They're all pretty. Look at you. You can tell how old they are by their, by their feet. I really had a good chance to there, There's a couple of them that have like this tiger look. It's so cool. Yeah. What you gonna do with Yeah, they're pretty, hey? And they do remember that thing they're, Yeah, they're purebred. We don't have any purebreds. Okay, bring her in. You. Careful here. Squ well, squishing my hand. This is a really bad idea. Nice. I'll get the other one. This one's lonely. I'm gonna get it. Okay. Okay, you're all alone. Let's go. Okay. Last one, hey? Eh? This one was feisty. It's okay. Oh, you got feather feet too? Ready? Well, I think I'm ready. Flying high on pheromones. Good boy, bud. Yeah, those orange ones. I like peaches. So, no, no, like the tiger ones. This yeah, one. ambers. One of them I'm gonna name Amber, and the other one was Winona. So I can tell by the face.
Cool. Well, they're eating and they're drinking. Wow, and they're roosting. And they're roosting. <laughs> Holy moly. Hi, friend. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. You got so much room here, like height wise. Is it bigger than their place was? Yeah. And uh, she's got long nails. And um, it was just a short, short and small. It was about this size, maybe a little bit bigger than this one half. Yeah. Oh, really? oh wow, look how hungry and thirsty they are. It's really interesting. So one, two, three, four, five. So Dusty is curious. The other ones are just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And Rod and Dusty are like, yeah. I don't think the other ones have hit maturity yet. But you'd think just being a chicken, you'd be curious. Okay, guys, we'll, we'll let you get. Whoa, we'll let you get settled in, okay? Yeah. Very proud of you. You did really good today, guys. I'm so proud of you. That was a big day. So James was kind enough to do a little add-on to the new hens side of the new coop. And it's their own hatch, so they're able to come out and have this whole run here. It's about a hundred square feet, um, separate from the roosters and from our original flock. So everybody could get to know each other. So I'm about to open it for the first time. Um, this snow that we have here is not ideal. It's um, totally packed down and icy. This side of the coop doesn't get any sort of direct sunlight. So it's unfortunately where most of the snow is still. The other two runs are getting pretty melted. So my, my goal is I brought a big, huge bale of hay, straw, hay. I don't know what that is. Um, then I'm going to spread it around and sort of on top of the snow and hope that they'll just walk around on top of that. Um, I just want to get them out of the coop. That is the goal. Hello. Hello. Come on. Look, there's a ramp right that way. Once the first one goes, they'll all go. You want some help? Figure it out. <laughs> Come on. Come on, I'm not going to force you. That would be bad. I'll put out some hay. That will entice you. You can go that way. Come on, this way. This way. You don't have to jump, honey. Down there. See? Yep, yeah. you go down there. It's a little steep. <laughs> you want to go peach? You want to go peach? Oh, yeah. 
See? Oh, it's a little steep. Oh boy. We were afraid of that. We officially have a lot of chickens. <laughs> She's jumping. Bale of hay, bale of hay to bale of hay. That's funny. Yeah, I'll spread it out for you guys. Are you meeting your neighbors? Yeah. That's poking, he doesn't even seem that upset about you. 